Hey there Google, today I'm going to create a window screen for one of our windows which has a torn screen and along the way I'll show you guys uh, all the parts you're going to need. Um, first of all you're going to need that edging of the window screen and this is what the material is made out of. You can buy this from your home improvement store nearby. So they're, they come in really long, I'd say about maybe 8 feet or 6 feet uh, tubes like this and they're made out of aluminum and so what I've done is I've got this miter saw and I've installed a metal cutter on it and we're gonna measure the amount we need and cut it down to size so since the end of this pieces are kind of like uh, bent and messed up I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a small piece off the edge just so I can get started so let's go ahead and do this After you cut the piece on the end, uh, you got to kind of clean it up a little bit. There's all these spikes and metals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it down a little bit and just kind of pop off the all this metal chunks that are stuck to the end. So here we go. So it's all nice and cleaned up now. Alright, so the way you connect all these metal border pieces together is with these plastic angles. Again, you can buy these as well from your home improvement shop. And what you do is you just kind of stick them into the ends, like so. And then you stick the next metal piece down this way, and that's how you form your border. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the, this length here and include one more of these on the other side and I'm going to mark where I'm going to cut for one of the sides of the window. Alright so what I need here is 17 and a quarter so right there and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, account for this so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down right here so 17 and a quarter would come out to right about there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right about here and I'll get my 17 and a quarter that way All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this part in uh, to measure it once again. Uh, I just wanna make sure everything is good before moving forward to the next part. Um, by the way, these plastic tabs, the, you have to put them in the correct side. So you can see how there's this little uh, groove cut out here. That's where the, later on in the video, you'll see where I'm gonna install the screen over it. That's where the rubber uh, string runs through it. See, this side doesn't have that groove but the side does. So you have to just make sure the part where there's this, this groove into, in the metal, you have to kind of follow it along and install it so that they line up like that. And so it'll continue on down that way. That's the uh, correct size. And then I could go ahead and move forward. Now the best part is once you have one of these sides, the other side is gonna be exact same size as this. So just make sure once you cut it and you kind of grind off the edges like I'm doing that they're exactly the same size or else it won't be a square window uh, screen. Alright, so I've got all the bars cut and I'm going to go ahead and connect them all together into a square.
just want to make sure all this groove here is on the inside and following all the way to the corner and continuing on through the plastic area down to the side here going all the way through and back up all the way around it needs to be on the inside okay on to the next step uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the screen now and you can see here I have two different screens I have this black colored one it's quite a bit longer and I have this grayish color one it's a bit shorter and I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this gray one I measured it and it will fit perfectly fine um, apart from the screens you're gonna need this rubber line or lining I'm not exactly sure what it's called it but it's like a rubber lining and this is what's gonna kind of hold the screen onto the frame you're also gonna need a one special tool you're gonna need this tool here and this installs that rubber lining into the the border here so that it holds the screen in place I'm going to just use a regular blade like this that you can get from anywhere um, although you can buy all of these things uh, from your home improvement store if you guys for some reason or another don't want to buy all the stuff at the store you can easily get this stuff on Amazon as well and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and include links to every little piece of thing you're gonna need to build screens like this All right, so we're ready to install this rubber lining with this tool. Here we go. So I've got the blade and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up against this end and just smoothly slide it across. And as it slides it's going to cut the rest of the extra screen right off. Here we go. So we have our uh, finished window screen and it came out pretty good actually and that's it it's actually pretty simple so whenever you get a ripped screen or something breaks you can just uh, build it pretty cheaply you can build a new screen thanks for watching thumbs up and please subscribe to support my channel thank you very much